If you have an idea for a video, feel free to shoot me a comment down below letting me know what you want some more information on and that will help me guide my video creations for you guys, my subscribers. <music> All aboard for the Magical Express! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Coral and I own Coral Joy Travel, a travel agency that specializes in Disney vacations. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything you need to know about Magical Express. What is Magical Express? Well, Magical Express is that bus that will pick you up from the MCO airport and drive you directly to your Disney Resort Hotel. Sounds easy, sounds painless. It is, but there are some things that you need to know in advance because it does include a little bit more time than you may be aware of. So how can you use Magical Express? Well, the first thing is you actually have to have a Disney Resort Hotel package. You have to be staying on Disney property in one of the resort hotels. Any one of them, it doesn't matter, but that is the first thing. If you are not staying in a Disney resort hotel, if you're staying off property, you do not have access to this free, this complimentary bus transportation called the Magical Express. Once you have your Disney reservation, if you've made it yourself, you can call Disney and share with them your airline information. They need to know your flight number and the day you fly in for arrival, and they need to know the flight number and the day you fly out for your departure. You would call this information into Disney and they would set that up for you. If you are using a travel agent, um, you would let your travel agent know this information. And if you're using my agency, well, of course, you would just let one of our agents know and we would take that, take care of that for you. So this is a really great feature that Disney offers all of its guests. Right now it's free. I hope it stays free forever because it is such a great value considering it can, you could spend, you know, between 50 and $80 to get to your resort hotel one way. Okay, one way with an Uber or a Lyft, um, or if you are taking a minivan service from MCO to your resort hotel, that's $150 per way. So knowing that you can do this Magical Express for free, that's a good thing. When you have signed up for this, usually oh, a few weeks after you let Disney know your flight information, they will send you a, an envelope, a letter sized envelope, that has included in it a welcome letter, um, a map of the MCO airport to kind of show you where you're going to go down and pick up the Magical Express. And it also has included your yellow luggage tags that you would stick onto your luggage uh, that you want Disney to collect for you at the MCO airport. I will get into this information in detail in just a few minutes, but you will have those yellow luggage tags inside that envelope. Now these luggage tags are um, sticky on one side, so you would have to unstick them and then flap them around, you know, your little carry on thing and off you go. Not carry on, your luggage that you are putting in the checked luggage. If you're carrying on luggage, and you don't have any checked luggage, you don't need to use those yellow tags, okay? This is only for the luggage, the bigger luggage that you are having the airline take from you and put under the plane so you don't see it. That's the luggage you wanna stick this on, okay? But more on that in a minute. When you arrive to the MCO airport, you will see signs that say, uh, Magical Express and just follow those signs to Magical Express. It's very easy. You're going to be going down to the bottom floor. You'll see it. There's only one Magical Express. When you get there, sometimes there are no lines um, and there are typically, gosh, I don't know, let's say four, five, six uh, desks that service you. There might be even more depending on how busy it is. But when you get up to the cast member, they will ask to either scan your magic band, so have that ready, 
or they will ask to have your confirmation number for your, your package. Either of those will be perfectly fine. Uh, I oftentimes travel with my magic band on my wrist when I get down to Walt Disney World, so it's really easy just to hold out my wrist. They will scan my magic band and they will say, hey, you're Coral, you're gonna be staying at this hotel. And then they'll say to you, get into this line because there are multiple lines and you wanna get in the right line for the correct bus. Now, this is where we're gonna get into some information. This is the information as a travel agent I need to let you know, okay? Now this is free, right? This is free, so that's a great thing. Let's start with how long it's gonna take you to get from MCO Airport to your hotel. I can't give you an exact number. I can't give you an exact number. However, I can tell you it's going to take longer to take your bus, your Magical Express bus, than if you're going to drive yourself. Why? Well, multiple reasons. When you get into that line, say they say, get in line number seven, and you walk in line number seven, and there's a few people in front of you, and everyone's excited because this is really awesome. I mean, you're going to Walt Disney World. Everyone should be excited. But I'm still giving you the big picture. I need to tell you everything. You're gonna wait in that line sometimes. You're just gonna wait in that line for a little bit. And then eventually they'll say, okay, line number seven, go over here to bay number 23. And you'll see bay number 23 and there'll be a big old bus and they will have their doors underneath the bus open. So if you had things that you wanted to just keep under the bus, that's fine. And then you get onto the bus. The bus is air conditioned. It's super comfortable, squishy chairs. There's movies going on for the kids. I mean, the bus is awesome, okay? It's awesome. But you need to know that this bus will have people not only for your Disney Resort Hotel, it could be up to two or three or maybe even, yeah, two or three other Disney Resort Hotels on your bus, okay? You need to know this. I tell you this and you cross your fingers in just a minute when they say to you the order in which they are going to visit these resort hotels. So you know your hotel and you have to wait and hear, are you the first stop? Are you the second stop? Are you the third? Are you the fourth stop? Because there's multiple stops. Now, you're hearing me say this and you're like, oh, Coral, I get what you're saying. Because if you're the first stop, you're happy. <laughs> you're happy because when you leave, which to, again, guys, it's gonna take a while for you to leave. You might sit on that bus for 15 minutes waiting for other guests to come. They're not just going to drive just your family to your resort hotel. They wanna make the best use of this gas. I mean, that makes sense, right guys? It does make sense. So you might be sitting there for 15 minutes. Yeah, you know, patience. You just have to have patience here because you know it's free. So this is the hard part. This is the hard part. So when you know the order of your, of your resort, when it's gonna be dropped off, whether you're first, second, third, or fourth, if you're the fourth stop, you're gonna have the longest wait. You could potentially be, you know, on that bus for an hour and a half. I tell you that not to freak you out. I tell you that to inform you so you can prepare. Maybe pack some snacks if you have children. Just know this in advance. It could take you up to an hour and a half to get to your resort, okay? But it's free. Here's something else I want. I'm crossing my legs so I can get really comfortable and just talk to you from my home to your home. I wanna to talk to you again about those yellow luggage tags that I mentioned before. Now those lu yellow luggage tags are only supposed to go on to your luggage that is going to be checked that you want Disney to collect for you at the MCO airport and then drive to your resort hotel for you. Which means when you get off that plane, your main focus is to get from your plane to Magical Express. That's it. You don't have to stop at, um, you know, pick up your checked bags. You don't have to go to that carousel. You don't have to think about it. 
you just go from the plane to the bus, okay? Because with that luggage, Disney will collect at the MCO airport. They see all these yellow tags and it says on the tag what hotel it's going to. If you're staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, it'll stay there. If you're staying at Pop Century, it'll stay there. It'll say that on there. So they know where to deliver these. Now I will say, again, this is to inform you, your luggage could take up to four hours to arrive to your resort hotel, okay? So if there's something important that you need, any medicines, money, magic bands, all of those things should not be in that checked luggage. No, 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 no. Keep that in a carry-on, keep that in a backpack, keep that on you swimsuits if you're going to swim at the pool right when you get to the hotel keep that in the on you keep it on you keep it in a backpack because you will not see that luggage for up to four hours it could take even longer guys you need to know this now i will also say this if that's not your cup of tea if you want to collect your luggage when you arrive to mco airport and then bring it with you onto the Magical Express, you can, you can do that. It's not a problem. If that is the case, then don't put that yellow luggage tag on it because when Disney sees those in the back, they set them aside, okay? So you don't want to use them if you're going to collect your luggage and that's a perfectly fine option for you. You wanna pick up your own luggage, you are going to have to go to the carousel collect your luggage that is coming in checked baggage, find the carousel, wait for your luggage, pick it up, and then you can head to the Magical Express. This is a way for you to ensure you have everything you need. You are not at Disney's mercy. You don't have to wait to get your luggage. You'll know you'll have it there when you arrive to your resort, which is actually helpful for some. A lot of people do this. A lot of people do this. So I just want you to know that you can do this. And if you have big luggage, that will then go underneath your Magical Express bus. Um, you don't have to bring it up into you know, the bus with you. It goes underneath and then when you get to your resort hotel, they'll open up those you know, baggage areas underneath the bus and you can bring it into your hotel. Now, if you have that luggage with you, just know if you arrive early, your room might not be ready. So what do you do in that case? You'll just leave your luggage with Bell Services. You'll get a little claim ticket and with the number of pieces that you have. And when, you, um, when your room is ready, you can either go back to Bell Services and collect it yourself, or you can go to your room and call Bell Services and they will deliver it to your room for you. In this case, I usually have either one or two dollars per uh, piece of luggage to hand the person carrying or carting over our luggage. This is what you do if you want to have your luggage with you when you get to the resort. Now, Magical Express will then take you back to your, uh, and the, back to the MCO airport when your trip is over. We call this the Tragical Express because it's tragedy. But the nice thing is Disney does provide this again for you for free. You will, you can check into your airline from the resort hotel. Uh, there are some hours when you can't do that, but most frequently, frequently you can do that. Just talk to the front desk to get the information about it at least the day before your departure. Uh, do know that Disney does collect you at your resort, not at a theme park. It has to be at your home resort three hours before your trip if it's domestic and four hours before your trip, before your trip's departure if you are flying internationally. That's a long time. They're going to collect you. They're going to collect other guests from other hotels, possibly, and then bring you back to the MCO airport. I tell you this to know in advance. Three hours is a long time, but it's free. So there are pros and cons to the Magical Express and the Tragical Express. There are pros and cons, but the best part is right now that it's free. That's a huge pro. But just know in advance, there is time that you have to commit to using this free service. Um, but I think overall, it's, it's a pretty awesome service.
I would love to know in the comments below if you use Magical Express for your arrival and departure, if you just use it for your departure, if you just use it for your arrival. I'd love to know in the comments below, what are your thoughts on Magical Express? And what have you learned using Magical Express? Because we've all learned things. I've had to experience this to learn them myself. Um, sometimes if I don't have a lot of time, I actually might avoid Magical Express and pay to take an Uber or a taxi to my resort hotel. It depends on my amount of time that I have there for my vacation. If I have two days and that's it, I might just say, I'm not going to waste my time for two hours to wait for, you know, when I arrive at the airport, my bus to come and for me to get to my particular resort hotel. I might choose that. I might not. It really just depends. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, that really does matter to me. I love having conversations with you. Thank you so much for those of you who are taking the time to write and to not just help me, right? but to help all of us together collectively. We are this fantastic Disney community that I am so, so proud of. I love this family that we are growing here. We have 4,500 subscribers on this channel. That blows my mind. 4,500 subscribers? Ah, isn't that cool? I know we're not a huge channel, guys. That, to me, the numbers don't matter. Well, I'm saying 4,500 matters, right? But I'm not like 45 million or 45,000. I'm 4,500. I am super proud of you that are here, that are loving and friendly and caring and helpful Disney friends. That's who I want to be friends with, guys. I wanna be friends with people like you. So thank you so much for being here. And if you are new here and this has been helpful for you, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Again, we're gonna be doing more and more of these videos. If you have an idea for a video, feel free to shoot me a comment down below letting me know what you want some more information on and that will help me guide my video creations for you guys, my subscribers. Guys, have a great rest of your week. I hope you are all well and healthy and I will see you in my next Disney video, Coral Joy Travel, a touch of magic, sharing joy. Bye guys, have a great one. Bye! Um, oh, and if anyone noticed, yes, it's the next day of filming because my camera was full and it stopped. So that's why I look a little different today.